Hello friends, to, uh, this will be the last session uh, for getting started uh, uh, in uh, MapReduce development using, uh, using Java and uh, so far we have uh, uh, created our development environment and then um, uh, we, uh, we copied some data uh, to, uh, to, uh, to the Cloudera virtual machine and we have developed a MapReduce program and in the last session we have submitted the MapReduce job uh, uh, on a small deck as well as large deck and uh, now we will uh, see further uh, on this topic and we will review uh, more details to understand what is going on. So we ran this command Hadoop jar and jar file name and the class name demo cards drivers row count uh, and this is the input path for this program and this is the output path okay so uh, we submitted the job in the last session and uh, it has completed successfully without any issues and i have covered a um, uh, little bit of details uh, about these counters um, and uh, now we will see the output of it and uh, to to check what is happening under the output directory you can run this command hadoop ss minus ls slash user slash cloud era output dot large deck and uh, you will see uh, a underscore success marker file uh, which, uh, which is in, used internally by MapReduce you need not worry about it and then depending upon the number of reducers used for your program you will see uh, those many files here uh, by default um, uh, and uh, you can customize it and you can change the naming convention and all but this is the typical naming convention and the number of uh, uh, files that will be created will be equal to number of reducers in this case it, it has used only one reducer to get the count so you can see only one file here uh, with uh, with this naming convention part minus r minus 0 0 0 0 0 if there are six reducers then it will be from 0 to 5 and then if you want to see review the results in that file you can use Hadoop FS minus cat command and uh, give the path of the file and you can see the results of the file okay and uh, 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 and this is determined by the logic we have implemented uh, in our reducer in our reducer uh, we computed the count of, uh, for uh, of all the records and then we are uh, uh, trying to write a null writable which means uh, we don't want to write anything as a key and uh, and then we are trying to write the count um, the context dot write always expects two parameters and uh, uh, typically uh, the first one we uh, is uh, termed as key and the second one is termed as value in this case we want to pass uh, null as key and uh, we just want to uh, uh, print value so we are using this if you want to display count then you have to uh, change the uh, output key type of our reducer here and also in our driver program um, you have to specify set output key class to text dot class and uh, in your reducer you have to change the output key type and then here you can uh, pass this key uh, uh, dot uh, yeah pass that key and then you will see output like this count tab it's a tab character uh, and then uh, whatever count it is in this case output for our large deck output for our deck of cards will be count tab 52 if we specify a, a, a not null key type in this case text so that is uh, how uh, uh, it will be written and you can explore uh, both input formats uh, to read the data from hdfs and the output format there are multiple uh, uh, formats but by default it uses text input format to read the data and text output format to uh, write the data and there are uh, many other formats uh, which you can explore and uh, the APIs which you need to look to explore uh, more about your uh, uh, 
uh, more about your, uh, your text input format and output formats is this one arg.apache.hadoop.mapreduce.lib under which you have input as well as output input is to read data from hdfs and output is to write data to hdfs and uh, uh, file input format and file output format are base abstract classes which have certain methods uh, that are uh, uh, that are reusable uh, on multiple uh, input formats or multiple output formats it's just a typical object oriented concepts so i'm not getting into details you can just explore all the classes uh, in these packages and uh, if you are a java programmer you will be able to figure out uh, more about them pretty easily and even for the key types and value types i have shown uh, in the last session uh, that uh, io have multiple types of uh, 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 classes like int writable null writable text float writable and uh, the rationale behind uh, uh, these uh, 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 classes are to serialize the primitive types so uh, uh, all the primitive types like integer string uh, in java are not serializable but uh, to store in hdfs or to pass uh, these objects over the network they have to be serializable so these are serializable alternatives or serializable versions of primitives that are developed for hdfs purpose it is very important that's why i am re-emphasizing that and you can explore all the other uh, classes under this package okay so uh, let me recap what we have done so far and then we will close this series so as part of this what we have done is first we have set up the vmware software and uh, then we we have downloaded the cloudera quick start vm and uh, uh, we have set up hadoop environment uh, uh, um, on our laptop and then we have set up our Eclipse uh, sorry and then in the third video we have seen some HDFS commands to copy data into HDFS like Hadoop FS minus uh, put and we copied deck of cards uh, in multiple ways one is by using Hadoop FS minus put command and the other one is uh, using hue we, we have successfully copied data to uh, to this cluster, uh, uh, to this uh, cloud as a quick start VM. Once that is done, we have set up our uh, IDE with Maven plugin, and uh, then we have drafted our pom.xml. with the repositories and then um, uh, with the dependencies that are required to write our uh, MapReduce. Uh, uh, programs and uh, uh, only the first four are related to MapReduce others are not related to MapReduce so if you want to write uh, MapReduce programs you can just uh, use these four dependencies others are not required and then once we set up the environment we have seen uh, uh, what is MapReduce little bit theoretically and then we have developed a simple MapReduce program uh, and uh, we uh, we we build the jar of it. We shipped the jar to Cloudera virtual machine, and uh, we ran the program, and we reviewed the results. That being said, I will be uh, ending this series. This is to just give uh, a kickstart uh, for Java developers, so that uh, uh, they can feel uh, how easy it is to explore Hadoop, and then uh, they can build on top of it uh, uh, very easily. Uh, so stay in touch with me. I will be sharing more of my knowledge in future sessions and uh, Please pass the word and make it sustainable and uh, uh, and uh, And you can subscribe to my youtube channel uh, uh, technology mentor and uh, uh, Let me show you my youtube channel. So this is my youtube channel uh, and uh, I will I will post this link um, uh, uh, in the description of this uh, video and you can uh, subscribe to it you can share it to your friends and uh, make sure more and more people subscribe to it so that more and more people can leverage and learn uh, 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 this stuff and also uh, you can go to my linkedin you can search 
Durga Gadraju in Google and it will take you to my LinkedIn profile and uh, you can uh, connect with me uh, and stay in touch with me and if you like this session uh, you can go to my profile scroll down and uh, you can uh, endorse me in uh, big data Hadoop and uh, uh, yeah uh, those two are the main things um, uh, that are relevant for this series and and also um, I will uh, upload this code to github and I will provide the link of github um, on on all this uh, uh, in comment section or description section of all the videos in this series so you can go to that uh, github uh, and you can uh, follow uh, my url and you you, you will get lot uh, lots of code uh, in future so thank you very much for hearing uh, this getting started session for uh, java developers uh, if you like it please uh, like the videos and if you have any questions post in comments and if you have any feedback that I have to uh, 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 that I have to address uh, please post in, in comments I will be glad to take care in future sessions thank you